What's up, VC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel, and this is my response to uh, Lee uh, Noise Spectrum's two year uh, two years in the VC contest. Um, he decided to do everything uh, related to two, so he gave us four questions to choose from. We had to choose two uh, to answer, uh, and and they all involved uh, two in some way. So. Um, one of them was to uh, select two live albums uh, that you thought were underrated or obscure um, that you wanted to share. Now, you know, over the years a lot of people have done best live album contests or videos showing their best live albums. And there, there's two that have always been omitted. I don't think I've ever seen either of these on anybody's list. And these are two uh, killer live albums. Uh, both from... Uh, no, one from the 70s and one from the 80s. Um, so first up is going to be uh, Aerosmith Classics Live. I don't think I've ever seen anybody show this uh, on a live video before. Um, and I mean, this album just it kicks ass. I mean, it's their Classics Live, you, you, their best songs live. You really can't beat that. Um, I've seen people show Bootlegs Live, but for some reason this one always gets forgotten. So um, my first selection is going to be uh, Bootlegs, or uh, I'm sorry, Classics Live, now I'm saying it. Uh, next up, I've seen people show this in videos when they ran across it or just uh, collection videos, but again, I've never seen anybody show this as a good live album. And and I absolutely love this live album. Um, this is the Alice Cooper show. I think this was 70, 77 uh, when this came out. And, and what's cool about this is he still very much, Alice Cooper still very much uses this show. He still uses much of the stage setup. About three quarters of the songs he still plays live. I just saw him two years ago, I think two or three years ago, um, and his show is still amazing. Now this is the uh, 2013 reissue by uh, Friday Music, but uh, just a classic, classic uh, 70s uh, live album, and one that I highly recommend picking up if you haven't, uh, or you know, check it out if you haven't listened to it before. Um, one of the other questions he posed was, "What are your favorite? Show some uh, record labels." Um, some center labels. He's really into uh, uh, obscure labels and stuff. And, you know, my favorites, I was going to show them, but I decided not to because you've shown them a number of times, Lee. Um, the first one's Bomb Records, uh, which you just showed in, in a recent video. And then uh, my other favorite is the Vertigo, whether it's the Vertigo Swirl or the Vertigo Spaceship. I, I really like those. But uh, I wanted to choose another, uh, another uh, option for my final... Um, question response so um, actually I like the, the, the charisma and the Buddha labels as well but again the, all common stuff all stuff that if you're a collector you know about um, so the second question was um, show two albums that were second albums from a band um, that I thought were really good and in both of these cases I think the second albums were better than the first albums and uh, two of, well, actually, both of these are, are, are some of my all time favorite albums. One of them being probably my all time favorite album. Um, but the first one is uh, the second album from the Jimi Hendrix Experience, and that's Axis Bold as Love. Um, this is probably my all time favorite album. Um, since I, I first heard this, I couldn't get enough of it. Um, I love every single song on here, and I've probably played this album. Uh, just this vinyl version I've probably played two or three dozen times but uh, I got my first copy of the CD in the late 80s and, and I played it non-stop it was one of my first CDs too but uh, just an absolutely amazing album this is the uh, the uh, 200 gram uh, mono pressing that came out a couple years ago from Legacy and Experience Hendrix um, I doubt there's anybody out there that's never heard this album but if you haven't um, stop what you're doing now and listen to it. Literally one of the best albums of all time, in my opinion. I like this better than his third album, even though everybody says Electric Ladyland is his his best album. I think this one's better, personally. Not to say I don't love Electric Ladyland, but... Um, and then the second one is, again, this is my favorite album from the band. Um, most people list their third album as their best. I think this one blows that one out of the water. Um... I'm, I'm not the fan of their third album that most people are, uh, and for me, uh, it's going to be Ride the Lightning from Metallica. I love their first album, but this took it to a whole nother level, and uh, and I think by their third album, they lost the thrash and, and that youth the, and, and aggression that they had in the first two. 
Um, I personally think this is the best thrash album of all time. That's just me. Uh, amazing album, though. And this is the 2008 reissue. Uh, or, I'm sorry, no, this was the Blackened reissue. I actually have the 2008 and an original pressing of this one as, as well. But, uh, still, it doesn't get much better than this album. Uh, so that's it, Lee. I tried to do a couple, look for a couple albums with the word two in them, uh, and, and I just couldn't find them. I'm sure if I looked harder, I could have, but I didn't want to spend uh, half the day looking for it. So, uh, But that's my entry into your contest. For those of you that aren't uh, subscribed to Lee, there's a link down below. Subscribe right away. He's got a great channel, um, all about hard rock and heavy metal. Uh, definitely a fun uh, channel. He does some uh, equipment stuff, too. He, it's been a while since he's done it, but he likes showing... Uh, showing off some of his collection of vintage stereo equipment as well. So um, hopefully we'll see some of those uh, again soon. Uh, that's it, VC. Take care. And, and again, Lee, congratulations. Um, I hope we get you 50, 100 more subscribers uh, through this contest. Uh, take care, brother.